Um, this, this, this presentation is on behalf of a team of two people called Jenny and Emma. Uh, Jenny and Emma were the team that were sitting over here. Um, Emma is 10 years old. Uh, they decided to tackle NHS top trumps using a game to understand relative strengths and weaknesses. And the, the hypothesis behind this is that it's actually a lot easier to understand relative strengths and weaknesses uh, by using a game than it is to try and teach a through bar charts and by charts and line graphs and other things that you can know about, that doesn't mean. Um, so they decided to make uh, NHS top trumps looking at child and adolescent mental health statistics across the whole of the country. Um, and uh, they've done that, uh, this is an example of a big table of data which contains some of these statistics. Um, and as you can see, tables and maps do not make it easy to see how these areas compare, but actually there's a lot of difference between these areas. So they used um, some Python code uh, and some data that they um, found uh, online to automatically generate top, top trumps cards for comparing relative strengths and weaknesses of child and adolescent mental health statistics around the country. Um, and they, um, they did, and Emma did some of the Python code for this, and she also did a lot of the data manipulation using the CSV. Uh, which they imported into this top trumps, and their code then automatically generates these top trumps uh, images here uh, using the statistics. And uh, using this, what you quickly get to understand when you're playing what's good and bad. Um, and they took data online from uh, Public Health England here. Um, they also looked for scores that included some extremes to make the game more interesting because otherwise um, a lot, they found a lot of the data was quite similar and actually that doesn't make for a very interesting top trumps game. Uh, they also found, they also tried to find statistics that weren't similar within um, a particular county. So for instance, uh, might be strong in one particular county but not in another. Um, and so they tried to mix them up so you've got that variation there. Um, so these are the things <coughs> that they, they use there. Um, I'm trying to remember what else I talked to. Oh, it, you can change the colour scheme, which is also something that Emma did. Um, and they said one more thing. They said that uh, they tried to import uh, area data using NHS CCGs, but they found that the boundaries of NHS CCGs were not the same as the boundaries of counties. So actually, there was better NHS data that they could have used, but they couldn't use it because of the difference in boundaries. So they just ended up doing it based on counties. These maps of counties are automatically generated using Python from uh, KML source file, which is in the repository that they've shared. So I think I've done as much justice as I possibly can, but it was a great project, um, so we should give them a clap. <laughs> I've missed a slide. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> do you have any questions? What did you learn? <laughs> can, can I ask a question? Because it looks like it could be quite fun and it could be quite depressing as well. <laughs> uh, did, did, did they think it had any practical use? Um, so my my understanding um, of the hypothesis here is that um, generally trying to communicate important data and in particular the relativity of strengths and weaknesses of data is really hard um, through just normal graphs and tables and especially if you're trying to help young people understand um, and so the the entire aim of this is to find a better way of presenting and communicating messages and stories through data. Uh, in a way that's accessible to well, anybody can play this. Really. You have, just have to be old enough to understand top trumps, which is what I don't have to know. Could so, a one year old play top trumps? But quite, quite. So, it's, it's, it's communicating the story that is important, and they think that it's going to work. I know a one year old top. <laughs> yes? How do we get more MS here? Oh, that's a, that is a trick question, isn't it? Um, does anybody have any evidence they can bring next time? <laughs> um, uh, by the way, we had a couple of people ask if they were able to bring their young children with them. We always say absolutely, um, that is entirely okay. So definitely if you're talking to people, please do say it's okay to bring, to bring children with you. Mm -hmm. Or maybe at the top of them. As long as, <laughs> as, long as they get the top of them. Yes. I was going to answer the top of question. There are what they call the hackers uh, that work with businesses sometimes in, um, across the gender, sometimes it's just one gender, uh, that we could connect with it in time. I've heard them before. 
I think that, you know, I would say if anybody does have any, we are always trying to make sure we're improving our diversity of these events. If you have any ideas, I would really like to know them because I definitely know them all. We don't we don't know all the ways to do this, but please do come and make suggestions. We really appreciate that. Okay, any more questions on top comes? Okay, thank you.